Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using Red Heart Super Saver Yarn in size 4 medium and the crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot, then I'll chain 7, now right here through this last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 1, then through that same chain I'll make one single crochet. So I'll continue making single crochets in this loop until I have 16 single crochets in total. So now that I have 16 single crochets in total, I'll pull on this short tail like this. Then right here to this next single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2, I'll chain 3. Then through the same chain, I'll make 4 double crochets. Now right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one, and then I'll skip one chain, and through the next chain I'll make one bobble stitch. So I'll make five double crochets in the next chain. I'll chain one, I'll skip the next single crochet chain and through a second single crochet chain I'll make a bobble stitch. I'll chain one, I'll skip the next single crochet chain and through the second single crochet chain I'll make a bubble stitch. I'll chain one, I'll skip the next chain and through the second chain I'll make a bobble stitch. So we'll continue this until we have eight bobble stitches in this row. So now to finish off the second row, I'll chain one and I'll skip one chain and through a second chain I'll make a bobble stitch. I'll chain one, then right there through the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll chain three, then right here through this bubble stitch loop, right there, I'll make another bubble stitch.
Now through his next one chain space between his bubble stitches, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next bubble stitch loop right here, I'll make a bubble stitch. Through the next one chain space, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next bubble stitch, I'll make one bubble stitch. Through the next one chain space, I'll make one double crochet. So we'll continue this throughout row three. Then I'll chain one, then right there through that next one chain space, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one bubble stitch. I'll chain one, then through the next one chain space I'll make one double crochet. Through the next bubble stitch right here, I'll make one bubble stitch. I'll chain one, then through the next one chain space I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row three. So now to finish off row three I'll make a slip stitch right here through this first bubble stitch. So this completes row three. Now for row four I'll chain three Right here through this bubble stitch, I'll make four double crochets. So I'm making another bubble stitch. I'll chain one, and right here through this next chain. I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain right here, I'll make another double crochet. So for this row, we'll have two double crochets between the bubble stitches. Now through his next bubble stitch, right here through the chain, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. Through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Then through this next bubble stitch loop right here, I'll make one bubble stitch. I 
I'll chain one. Through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row four. So now to finish off row four, right here through this first bubble stitch to the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row four. Now for row five, I'll chain three. Then right here through this next bubble stitch right here, I'll make another bubble stitch. making four double crochets in a loop only at the beginning of a row because this three chain right here replaces one double crochet but it's only at the beginning of every row now I'll chain one now through this next chain right here I'll make one double crochet in the next chain I'll make one double crochet now in this next chain right here I'll make one double crochet so as you can see, we are increasing double crochets in every row. Now through this next bubble stitch right here, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. And through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next bubble stitch, right here through this loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. Chain one. Now through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. And through the next chain, one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row five. So now to finish off row five, right here through this bubble stitch, through this third chain right here, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row five. Now for row 6, I'll chain 3, and right here through the middle loop of this bubble stitch, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. So now we need to increase again, so we need to have four double crochets instead of three. So through this next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now right here through this middle chain, I'll make two double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next bubble stitch right here through this middle loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. Now again we'll increase, so in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain I'll make two double crochet. Then through this last chain I'll make one 
double crochet. So now that we have four double crochets to this bubble stitch right here to this middle loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. chain one then I'll repeat this throughout this row so now to finish off row six right here through this next bubble stitch through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch so now for row seven I'll chain three then right here through this next bubble stitch through this middle loop right here I'll make another bubble stitch chain one, then right here through this next chain I'll make one double crochet. So for this row we need to have five double crochets between these bubble stitches instead of four. So now through this next chain I'll make two double crochets. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next bubble stitch right here through this metal loop I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet. And through this last chain right here I'll make one double crochet. So now that we have five double crochets in total Right here through this next bubble stitch, through this middle loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. So now I'll chain one and then I'll repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off row seven through his next bubble stitch, right here through his third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And this completes row seven. Now for row eight, I'll chain three. Then right here through his next bubble stitch, through his middle loop right here, I'll make another bubble stitch. chain one. Now for this row we need to have six double crochets instead of five so we'll increase one double crochet. So in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain I'll make two double crochets. In the next chain I'll make one double crochet. And in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. So now that we have six double crochets through this next bubble stitch I'll make one bubble stitch.
Next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet through the next chain, one double crochet through the next chain, two double crochets through the next chain, one double crochet and through this last chain, one double crochet so we repeat this throughout row 8 so now to finish up row 8, right here through this next bubble stitch, through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 8. Now, if your work looks like this, don't panic, because that's how it's supposed to look. So for row 9, I'll chain 3. Then through this next bubble stitch, right here through this loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. Now for this row we need to have seven double crochets instead of six. So through this next chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two double crochets. Through the next chain I'll make one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet and now we have seven double crochets through the next bubble stitch right here through this loop I'll make another bubble stitch Now I'll chain one and now again we'll make seven double crochets so on the fourth chain we'll increase so we'll make two double crochets instead of one. So now in the next chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain one double crochet. In the next chain two double crochets. In the next chain one double crochet. In the next chain, one double crochet, and through this last chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now we have seven double crochets. So we repeat this throughout row nine. Now, right here, through this next bubble stitch, through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row nine. Now for row ten, I'll chain three. Then through this next bubble stitch right here through this loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. Now we need to have eight double crochets instead of seven. So through this next chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain two double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. Through the next chain one double crochet. And through this last chain, one double crochet. So now that we have eight double crochets through this next bubble stitch right here through this loop, I'll make another bubble stitch. I'll chain one. Now again, we need to have eight double crochets instead of seven.
So this is our last row of increases. So we will repeat this throughout row 10. Now to finish off row 10, right here through this next bubble stitch, through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 10. So as I said before, this is our last row of increases. So now I'll chain 3 through this next bubble stitch through this middle loop. Right here I'll make another bubble stitch. And now we'll be only working on our existing chains. So when you see a bubble stitch, you're supposed to make another bubble stitch. Where you see a double crochet chain, you make one double crochet chain. For this row again, we'll have only eight double crochets. Through the next bubble stitch, I'll make another bubble stitch right here through this loop. I'll chain one. In the next eight chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. So we'll repeat this throughout row 11. So we'll repeat this until we have 13 rows in total. Now that we have finished the 13th row, we still have 8 double crochets here between these bubble stitches. So we have already joined the 13th row with a slip stitch. And now I will chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. Now I'll use yarn in different color. And I insert my hook right here through this bubble stitch. I'll chain three. And now through this next eight chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. next bubble stitch right here through this loop I'll make one double crochet. Now through this next eight chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. here through this bubble stitch through this loop right here I'll make one double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 14. So now to finish off row 14 right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And now again I'll go back to this uh, pink yarn and then right here through this third chain where I made a slip stitch 
I'll chain two. Now through the same three chain space I'll make one front post double crochet. Now I'll make one back post double crochet. Then I'll make one front post double crochet, one back post double crochet, one front post double crochet, one back post double crochet, one front post double crochet. One back post double crochet and one front post double crochet. So I'll continue making one post double crochet and one back post double crochet throughout row 15. Now to finish off row 15 right here through this first front post double crochet chain I'll make one slip stitch. Then I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row 15. So now again for row 16 we'll go back to the red color and I'll go back to the slip stitch that I made earlier. I'll chain two then right here through this first front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. Through the next back post double crochet I'll make one back post double crochet. Through the next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. Through the next back post double crochet I'll make one back post double crochet. Through the next front post double crochet I'll make one front post double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 16. So now to finish off row 16, right here through this first front post double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And after row 17, I'll go back to the color pink. And then right here through this chain, I'll chain two. Then I'll make one front post double crochet. Then I'll make one back post double crochet, one front post double crochet, one back post double crochet. I'll continue making one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet throughout this row. So now to finish off row 17, right here through this front post double crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 17. And now for row 18 and our last row, I'll chain one, then right there through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout row 18. So now to finish off this last row, right here through this first single crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain one and then I'll cut this yarn. Now with a yarn needle I will weave these ends in.
that is all for today, guys. Thanks for watching.